so ma manifestation for us is, is been, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's an everyday. We, we deep dive mm -hmm. into it pretty much in all of our waking well, hours, yeah. right? Would you say? It's just, it's part of our life. It's just our life. Yeah. So we, we, for us, it's, it's, uh, it's kind of like what kind of the tag onto what we just spoke about. It's our way of just exploring. Well, you know, everybody says, well, you can co-create or you're part of creation. So we're like, you know, let's test it. <laughs> let's test it and let's give it a go. Right. And so that's what we do. We continually test it. We think in terms of manifestation and we say, okay, well, you say you apply it this way. So that's what we do. And then we say, okay, then we learn and we, we tweak things along the way. And, and really we've been able to really validate uh, in our own lives that manifestation is an absolute real thing. And it takes constant, constant, constant going and flowing. You're manifest all day long. You just don't sit in for, uh, if you want something out of life, for example, well, you just don't say, okay, well, let me do a quick morning prayer on my knees and, you know, for 30 seconds and, you know, and then that's it. Or maybe the full moon showed up really quick and do it real quick for 45 minutes and light a candle and do that and manifestation's done and leave it up to the universe. I, my experience, I, I think both of us probably agree, it doesn't really work out that way. It is, it is, you, 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 the intent, and then the action goes with it. You, the intent, so you get the intent, like whatever it is you're wanting or your desire, if you would, and then you now start to move into, into action. For example, if you want to live somewhere, you put the intent and you start to visit that place frequently. If you want more money, you uh, you put the intent and you start to surround yourself with people that are making the kind of money you want. Hey, this is this is how manifestation happens. And then we see, so we see evidence of that, doing it that way. I mean, what do you think? Absolutely. And it, it's mindset. It, I think everything is mindset. Um, that's the foundation for a healthy lifestyle. It's the foundation for a wealthy lifestyle. And it's the foundation for bringing your manifestations into creation, into reality. You have to believe. The first thing is the most important, I would say, is you have to believe that you are worthy of receiving and I think, Claudio, a lot of people get tripped up on that because they doubt themselves right? or they have had programming, a parental program, you know, you're nothing or, you know, money doesn't grow on trees and you have to work hard, hard, hard. So if people are still in that programming, you know, because it takes a lot of going within to get rid of all that programming, right? It's been in you for a long time. Um, so if you still have a type of programming, you're going to manifest things, certainly, but are you going to manifest all the desires that you want? And are you going to manifest them at lightning God, God is speed? That's the difference. So Jay and I, we don't like the, sl the slow plan, okay? We're definitely on the let's do it quick plan. So what we've done throughout the years is refine what's worked and let go release what doesn't work and then we just keep refining it and refining it and refining and refining it and um again it goes back to your mindset your frequency and your vibration so the more throughout the day that you keep yourself at a high frequency and a high vibration be it your mindset the quicker these manifestations are going to start rolling into your life it's when you start doubting yourself it's when you start doubting the universe when you lose faith because it may be something didn't come the way you expected it or the how or the timing and then you're like this sucks right yeah. <laughs> well yeah it's going to slow your manifestation you just put the brakes on your manifestations you gotta go in with unwavering faith and um, believing I mean, in yourself. Yeah, and I think that for us too, we've also realized that you know we we are grateful for our connection to source, but we are also very realized that there's nobody giving us anything or not taking away anything that we don't control. You know what I mean? So there's yeah. nobody like we there's nobody to and I don't want to diminish faith here, but there's nobody to pray to. There's nobody or nothing to you know say why did you do this to me. You know what I mean? Or this, there's none of that. There just is. It's just the we're in. So, I mean, that's the only way we can see that. That's the only evidence we can see is that we're in control of those goods, bads, or indifferent. And so we focus on the goods and we start to see more of the goods. And it again shows as evidence, well, that seems to be working. You know what I mean? The other stuff doesn't seem to be working. So let's not do that. And then, 
So gratitude is a massive a part yeah. of it as well. Mindset, yeah. gratitude. I am throughout the, from the moment I get up until, you know, I'm totally asleep. I'm just always showing gratitude, right. whether it's to someone verbally or if it's in my head. And we live in Florida, we literally live in paradise. So it's impossible to wake up and you're like, it, I don't like it here. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you got palm trees and sunshine and water. What's not to love? So you go outside in the morning and you're smelling the fresh air and it never gets old for Jay and I. We've, we've lived in South Florida for, uh, I've been here over 30 years. Jay grew up here. Um, it never gets old. We love it. So, and when you love it, you're just so grateful to be in this environment and there's so much to give gratitude for. And, and, and respect of the fellow human spirit. I mean, it's such a big deal. I mean, when you learn to respect the fact that we are, the pot, regardless of what we look like, you know, whatever, we all very possible are really truly interconnected by this big whatever. So <laughs> we have to really acknowledge that to some degree by, you know, I'm not saying that we have to always, you know, absolutely eternally love and want to hang out with everybody, but we do have to honor their ways of lives and um, their existence. And when you do that, again, these are little things that we do that we see that that does make a big difference in the art of manifestation, because when you respect someone, even for that be a second, you'll start to see things, gratitude, you'll start to see things unfold in your life. So, you know, it's, it's, it's mindset. It really is. It does get back to that mindset. It's just how you think about it and what brings you peace to life. And when you're at a very peaceful aligned state, your alignment with the universe is there. And then when your alignment with the universe is there, then your thoughts do manifest a lot quicker.